it's Thursday and I'm finally back with a legit camera and make a quality video here. Damn it. This week's theme is school slash education. And I, I thought it was a really interesting theme because all of us do have such a different perspective on school because we live in different countries and are older and younger and blah blah blah. I like to think of myself as having a completely different perspective because I've graduated from high school and from college. Think of me as your wise aunt. I don't know. Here, preschool is four years old. And then uh, kindergarten through fifth grade was what we call elementary school. And then we have middle school, which was sixth through eighth grade. And then high school, which was ninth through twelfth grade. I've lived in the same town since I was three. So I've gone to school in the same town since I was going to school. But when I was in elementary school, I went to the elementary school that was across town because there were, I don't know, eight elementary schools that we could choose from. And the one that my little section of town was supposed to go to wasn't the greatest one in town. So all the rest of the kids in my neighborhood were going to the elementary school across town. So I did that. So once I left fifth grade, I had the choice of going to the middle school that our elementary school naturally moved on to or the middle school that was closest to my house. So we went with the middle school that was closest to my house. So there were maybe 12 people from my elementary school that went to my middle school. So it was kind of a big game changer, um, a big transition for me because, I mean, I was there with my best friend, who's still my best friend, so that was nice, but everybody else I didn't know, so I had to meet all new people. And my middle school is actually like a kind of historical thing in my town. Um, it was, it's been three different schools. There, it was a middle school, it was a high school, and then it was our school. And it was 81 years old. And at the end of my seventh grade year, they actually knocked down my middle school to rebuild it. Or in the eighth grade, my school actually had to double shift at a different building. And so the middle school across town, all those kids went to school from seven to noon. And then we went to middle school from 12.30 to 5.30. So in the winter time, we were getting home in the dark. Once I got to high school, I was in band. I was in band all through middle school. But then when I got to high school, I was in band for about a year until I found the newspaper. So newspaper was pretty much what, what helped me develop into a human being. Um, I was on the newspaper from 10th grade through 12th grade and I loved it a lot. High school really wasn't all that exciting for me. Um, once I got to junior year, I got sick and that was kind of all encompassing of my life at that point. I started losing weight at a rapid pace. I was tired all the time. I was cold all the time and we didn't know what it was. So that was pretty much my junior year and my junior year grades sucked. I, I came back to senior year. Um, after two months, I had my braces off finally, but I was like 20 pounds lighter than I was when I left junior year. So that was really weird. My senior year was very up and down for me because I took my SATs junior year and I got it taken care of. I applied to college in November. That was taken care of and I got accepted. So I was like, I don't want to worry about college anymore because I got into a school and I'm not going to be applying anymore because I'm sick and I'm trying to figure this out. Once I finally did find out what happened and what was going on with me, um, I made a video about it on my main channel explaining the whole thing because it's a very long story. Um, that was December and then for the rest of that year I was on prednisone and a lot of other medications. So that was pretty much my senior year. I graduated with a 3.4 GPA. I don't know what that is in your guys' school system, but a 3.4 GPA is like a all around like A minus, at least in college that's what it is. I think it was like 68 out of my class, 68th in my class. Um, yeah, I was 68th in my class out of like 300 and something people. So that was cool. Once I did graduate, I was still technically sick. I was still on medication. I was still recovering. So we didn't worry about college. We, I went to school down in Lacey. My school was St. Martin's University. And again, that's a very long story. St. Martin's is a private Catholic university. I have no problem with Catholics. Actually, my, in terms of religion, my school was kind of cool because we had Benedictine monks who were our professors and they were really cool. It's the students that sucked. The reason I actually decided on 
the private university was because they gave me a ton in scholarships. Going to St. Martin's with all those scholarships, it basically evened out to being the exact same price as going to a public university, so I'm just like, I'm just not gonna worry about it. So I went to St. Martin's, I started on an English major course. I took both the journalism courses that they had in the first year, which was one of the problems why I left, because they didn't have any of the classes that I wanted and I needed. Because if I would have gone to school there for the next three years, I would have been an English major and I would have been taking literature courses for three years. No offense, Kathy, but I could not do that. I know you can do it, I, I love that you can do it, I respect that you can do it, but I could never take that many classes on literature because I am not a fast reader when it comes to books that I don't like. The one problem with St. Martin's was the students that went there. As, as a piece of advice, I strongly suggest to the three of you who have not been to university yet, when you're choosing a university, go stay there for like a weekend. Because the academic part of it is a very big part of it. I didn't mind the academics there, they were fine. I never intended on staying there for all four years when I got accepted, but it was the people that went there that drove me crazy. Because it was such a small campus and it was so like, just not that many people, it felt like high school so much. Like it felt like I had just left high school and I was at fucking summer camp. And, and that's not a good thing for college. Like you don't want to just be like living in dorms with people who never really want to study, who are never focused on school. And so for one thing, um, my roommate uh, was a heinous bitch who completely ruined my first year of college. So one other piece of advice when you go to university, don't room with someone that you are already friends with because that's just a bad idea because there's a very good chance that you will ruin a friendship by living together. There are just some friends that you can't live with. So long story short, one weekend I had my best friend and then my sister and then a couple other friends come stay with us. I was kind of unaware that a couple, that two of the people were coming, but I was really excited. They were in my room. Our friends from across the hall were in our room just chilling. A friend of mine and I, we went to go get ice cream maybe gone for 10 minutes, right? I left my friend and my sister and our friends in our room. That's like, th that doesn't sound weird. Basically our corner of the dorms were just an open door thing anyway. So I go to get ice cream. I come back. My roommate has come back from mass, Catholic mass, and she is furious and she screamed at me. She didn't trust my friends. She didn't like, she didn't respect them. She was yelling at me for no apparent reason and she made me cry. She stormed down the hall. I went back in the room, grabbed my sister, my best friend, and then our two other friends, slammed the door, left, and then stayed at my best friend's grandmother's house, which was like 20 minutes away. And I ruminated in my rage for the evening, uh, figured out what I was gonna say to her the next day, went back, opened the door, it was like 10 in the morning, um, cause I was not cool with this at all. So I set my stuff down. My sister came in with me because she had yelled at my sister as well. I, I left my friends out in the hallway because that just wouldn't have been cool. So my sister and I go in there, I start like laying down the line. I'm like, uh, that was not cool and uncalled for and I'm not gonna take any more of it. And I was very stern and then she starts fighting back and then I kind of backed down and then my sister was like, okay, damn it. And then my sister uh, basically calls her every uh, curse word in the book, including the C word, which at that point in my life, I was still very about. So uh, we bitched her out. At the end of it, my sister was like, if you ever make my sister cry again, I will personally make you cry. Do you understand? And she's like, yeah. And she's like, do you understand? And she's like, yes. So we grab my shit, slam the door, walk down the hallway, high five my best friend, run downstairs, call my mom. I'm on an adrenaline high because I had never confronted anybody like that before because I was being civil and then she got uncivil. So then we had to just go crazy. I'm on the phone with my mom downstairs. I see her walking down the stairs crying on the phone to her mom. And I sound like a bitch right now, but she was literally a horrible person. That happened. Uh, and after that, two weeks later, she moved out of the room, down the hallway. Um, we we're still very kind of civil for the rest of the year, but at the end of the year, we haven't talked since then. Um, I had the coolest little Japanese roommate for the rest of the year. She was awesome. I loved her. But at the end of that year, 
I applied to UWT, um, I got in, I took a class at the community college over the summer, and then I went to the University of Washington, Tacoma, the next year. And that was where I was for the next three years. UWT was great. It was within the city, and it was small, but not that small. It was like 4,000 people. Um, but I really, really liked the school and the campus and the teachers and the classes and my newspaper it was awesome. UWT was such a better experience. The student government was fucked up and the whole like activities board crap was stupid because it was a waste of time and it was very high school and I had a lot of beef with the activities board and the student government because I was on the newspaper and they thought that they could work with us somehow. If you have any knowledge of media ethics or media law, uh, the newspaper and the government is not supposed to be in cahoots in any way, shape, or form. As far as the classes that I took, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in communication, and our school was very interdisciplinary, so like, uh, all under one thing, you could be like a psychology major or communication major, so it was kind of wacky, kind of hippie. Not as hippie as some other schools, but a little bit hippie. I, I really enjoyed the classes that I took. Because our school was small and we didn't have a lot of professors, I had a lot of the same professors over and over again. And one of my favorite professors I actually took several film classes with and then I took my video production classes with him. He was the coolest professor. I took a Tim Burton class with him. I took a western movie class. I took a sci-fi film class. Um, I took media ethics. I took uh, political economy. I took some other poli-sci classes. I took some literature classes. I really, really loved UWT, and it was leaps and bounds above my time at St. Martin's because it was closer to home. I got to live at home. Um, I was with people that I didn't really know at first, but I grew to love a lot. While there's a lot of people at UWT that I despise, that I instantly unfriended as soon as I graduated, which was kind of a liberating thing. Because the only reason I was friends with these people at UWT um, was mainly to stay in the know about what was happening in like student government and all that stuff, so I was kind of like eavesdropping in a way. Um, and then after that I was done. But uh, I unfriended them and it was liberating and awesome. But that was a very long story. Shit! Jess, your video was long? My video was gonna be so long! Oh my god. Um, so, my battery is dying, and I hope you guys enjoyed that long, convoluted video. And I am going to go read Mockingjay now. Actually, I'm gonna fold laundry. Fold laundry, then read Mockingjay so I can finish it today, and I'm gonna cry. So, I will see you guys tomorrow and next week.